So I'm in Staten Island today, and um, if you recall, if you notice the scene, you got New York one on the scene, right? But right here today, July 17, 2014, four years ago today, uh, the the uh, story of Eric Gardner, Gardner, excuse me, Eric Gardner, who was uh, the Lucy salesman, who was, uh, we all saw the horrific video of. Uh, Eric Garner, big guy, 350 pound guy, selling Lucy cigarettes outside of the bodega right there. I'll walk down there in a second and check it out. But, um, and you saw the two uh, NYPD police officers, Pantelio, uh, Daniel Pantelio, the NYPD officer that got behind him, choked him, and uh, ultimately killed him. So, four years ago today, they're going to be very respectful today. Um, what is my opinion? I think that, I mean, there's a lot of people in this square right here that will argue tooth and nail that it was purely racism, racist cops, white cops, and they may be right. And there's others that'll say it was police brutality and that's, that was the main reason why, and they may be right as well. I think they're all right. But uh, I feel like I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm a little um, qualified to speak about this because I grew up in Staten Island, right? And uh, I could tell you there are extremely racist white cops and there are extremely racist black people, right? And that's about 10% or 20% of them, you know. What about the other 80%, right? They're good, good people, right? Everybody's good people. So, so that's, what, that's what we're here today. I, I'm gonna walk down the block I'm a white man and you know in a, at a black event I, I don't know I don't even know anymore I'm just a I'm a reporter guy and uh, I was there uh, I wasn't there I saw it on the news like everybody else but this is the scene so I'm gonna just take a walk I don't know what to expect and um, you got NY you got jerk off fake media <laughs> fake news reporting no CNN none of that stuff so I'll walk the last. Uh, I'll, I'll walk the last walk, and we'll see what you know. You get to see where we are. It's Staten Island, New York. Farazano Bridge is that way. The New York Ferry, Staten Island Ferry, is that way. It's kind of a low-income neighborhood. You got some guys over here. There's some guys here doing some painting on the wall. Talking away. So, this is the scene right here. Right? So, July 14, 2017, 2014, July 17, 2014, excuse me. Eric Gardner was selling um, Lucy cigarettes right here. Remember the bodega? And um, he came out the bodega, and I believe the police followed him this way. And this is the uh, beauty supply store where he was wrestling for the ground. It is. So, it's pretty sad. A little, uh, little monument to Eric Gardner. Okay. Uh, it was a very sad day, you know? Chokes me up. So, Eric Carter, 42 years old, did he deserve to die for cigarettes? Again, the way I saw it, the way I saw it was a, um, I saw bad policing. You know? I saw really bad policing, and uh, I saw ways where you could have, that could have been avoided. Uh, you know, by maybe throwing a net over his head or something, or, you know, I've said it before, I, I just don't see, you know, wrestling, there's got to be, there's got to be a better way to, to, to police our streets, right? And the family ultimately settled a civil suit for, you know, $5 million or something. So, people selling some shirts over here. 
I'm gonna bring somebody else into the picture. How you doing? Hey, you guys wanna be on the YouTube channel? I'll keep the kids up. So my name is uh, Mark Scotty. I do a YouTube blog and uh, I'm here where uh, in the spot where Eric Gardner was wrestled to the ground, July 17, 2014. What are we doing here? What do we got? Well, every year we come out here, and throughout the year we do different actions. We're not just a day of type of organization, but this organization is called the Legacy Eric Garner Left Behind. We named it and surrounded it around his youngest daughter, four-year-old Legacy Garner, and we're out here from 12 noon until 8 p.m. We'll have we have a table of merchandise for a uh, donation. Um, for today, these are t-shirts we have. Um, we also have some food out here, which should be ready in about an hour. Um, somebody's bringing a cooler. We have organizations coming through to do like swipe it forward actions, and we're gonna end the day off with a powerful protest. Games for the children. Yeah, yeah, we have activities. Yeah, we're gonna occupy the park as well too. We're waiting on some of our youth members, right. and we have like bowling, baseball, soccer set up for the kids to play. So right. you know, right. definitely come down if you're seeing this now. And if not, if you missed it. We do it every year. <laughs> What, what would you like to see? What would you like to see the big outcome, the big um, message the of big, the event? Well, the, the, of the this big, event is yeah. to be self-sufficient as a community. Um, we did everything every year we do it year long yeah, without yeah. a permit and without um, really going to the officials and yeah, asking them for you anything. Long, right? They leave you alone to do this, uh, yeah? For the most, most part, part. You know, they send community relations or whatever the case may be, but nothing has been too out of hand or anything of that nature. And we always just do things that we can do within our power without having to, having to ask for anything. So we come out here, we community build, um, the community donates, you know, whether it be the community of Staten Island or um, other organizations and activists or just people of our big community. It's not just yeah. the borough thing. So sure. we do have people coming across the awareness water of later Awareness on. of police brutality, yeah. awareness of racism. You know, every year they say stuff. something's going to happen. Last year, a couple Nothing. of months, they said the feds were going to do something. Now they're saying the police department's going to do something, but... You know, well, you know, just, uh, Eric Schneiderman, the uh, the D, the uh, attorney general at the time, he quit. He got, mm. he got, he's he's gone. So no more Eric Schneiderman. You need a new guy now. Maybe somebody I mean, will process. It seems like every guy that gets in is, you know, same old, same old. Um, the, Dan the first Donovan one, he went him. on to another position, and yeah. yeah, now he's running for Congress. Yeah. Do not vote him in. He's um, in. He's, he's not, already oh, in. Man. He's, I thought there's in. a new. Uh, no, no, it's Dan Donovan oh, oh. is a Republican. <laughs> he's the incumbent, and he's got you got. Uh, the Democrat Max Rose, it looks like, is going to run against him. Man. So, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, hey, thank you for your time. Yeah, good luck. thanks. Thanks all for right. being out here. You know, this is June Miller, the mother of Eric Garner's youngest child. Oh, how you doing? How are you? Great nice to meet you. You want to say anything? It's a YouTube channel. I mean, I, I have, yeah, you know, I'm a couple fine. hundred, a couple of thousand. Oh, good to see you. Oh, boy. Hey, guys. Thank you. And Peace. Keep your justice alive. Yep. Thank you very much. You got some people very friendly, right? Everybody's pretty friendly, selling some incense out of it. And this guy's selling hacking t-shirts. <laughs> so it's that's all. I mean, it's it, it's just it, it's probably going to get raucous as the as the night goes on. People are going to get very exercised about the uh, the Eric Gardner issue. I mean, to me, it just it hits home because um, I believe we live in a police state. I, I believe that you know that someone has to die before you. You know, before you realize the brutality to the whole thing, right? So, I'm getting a little, a little choked right now. So I'm gonna kill it there, and um, if anything else happens, I'll, I'll, I'll report back. Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace out.